So tell, tell me, you as a young African, you are doing, you, maybe can I say you found your, your purpose to impact Africa in what you're doing, okay? So what advice do you have for all the young Africans? Because we need, to, we need them in their own spaces to also impact their communities. So what advice do you have for them? Mm. I so much love this question because it's the essence of what I do and what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Is so, like I said, we are raising leaders in Africa, not yes. just members. So that was show that we're raising people that will raise other people that will raise others more. So first yeah. of all, they have to believe that they have something to offer. That is the bedrock for everything. Some believe that they were destined to just be followers. We are all followers. I'm a follower up to this point, and I'm still leader. But some just believe that this leadership thing is for some selected few by faith. Mm. Why they don't just keep following. So they have to first come to the point that no matter who they are, where they have been, they have something to offer, something that the world needs. That's why I love the saying of my Monroe so much. He said the richest place of the world it's not the gold mines in South Africa, right? He said it is the graveyard because so many mm -hmm. potential books that were never written, songs that were never heard, arts and businesses that were never started are all in the grave. These people, they were there, but they didn't know that there was something on their inside. Mm. And I even have a, a funny belief. You know, my funeral believes in the, in the, um, in the saying, of dying empty, right? You know what he means by that? Um, hello, can you hear me? I can't hear, I can't hear you now. Yeah. Okay, all right. My true believe in the concept of dying empty. Okay. Although I have something contrary to that, because okay, I don't believe that we as humans can really die empty. It's just that when age meets us, mm. we stop delivering. But what is in us is enough for tens and thousands of generations. Okay. If we still maintain this glow. So people still die with what with so many stuff, but at least they're able to impact the world to an extent before going. But some of are just there and they're like, I'm just a, a, a school person. I also just have a career, have a, a, a decent pay, have children, married, and you know, just go through life like that. But they're not thinking of impact. And I always tell people that what makes us different from the kingdom is that if your mindset is in just in survival mode, not to just walk so you could eat, then there's no difference from the normal animals. Well, that's what the animal kingdom do. At every point, they're just in survival mode. Yeah. Let's see what we can eat now and get going. But humans, we are meant to thrive, not just to just survive. Yeah. We're meant to make an impact. So if where you are in your society, in your home, in your workplace, in your nation, your impact is not being felt. No one can look at you and say, because of you, I was inspired and I started doing this positively. Then you are not living. Everyone is a leader. Leadership is a call that I've been calling everyone, waiting for who would answer it. A leader is born, a leader is made. That question is relevant. Everybody is made to be a leader. That is how it's meant to be. So that's to first of all believe, look inward and see that they have something to offer. Once yeah. they have conquered and have that belief, next step is to now discover what, okay, their interest is. And it's not always hard as we try to be, because in discovering, most of your people make a mistake of, okay, I don't know what I want to be, so let me keep waiting till I know, so that trying to play safe. Yeah. But the best way to discover yourself is by just starting out. Don't try Woo! to be careful. Fantastic. You can start, just start, whatever it is. As you are in search of purpose, purpose will find you. But you don't just sit down, just wait and say, okay, let me keep waiting till I know what I'm called to do. Just start, learn a musical instrument, join a, 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 a volunteer somewhere, join a, a great course, just start. You don't, you, don't, you don't have to be sure at first, just start is what is needed. And while you are in the process, you will now begin to understand yourself more and see where your strength is. Also, then discover where your strength is. The next step is to now prune that thing. 
because gold in its own refined form does not have much value, but it's refined. Okay, mm. this is where I'm at. I've seen where I want to play in. I want to play in this industry. I want to play in this niche. You now take the time to refine it. This is where discipline comes in. I'm not there yet, but every day I, I try my best to give four hours to learning. I don't always wow. get that. I, I'm still trying to build that structure, but that is my goal every day, to spend at least four hours just in learning so I can prune what I have discovered, this thing that I've seen. Let me prune it with excellence. Very important. Because no matter what it is, for it to be said to the world, there has to be excellence. And that's what we are lacking most of the time. Take for our instance, all right? I'm even happy with my background. But the is that I'm not waiting for it to get perfect before I, yeah. I begin. Right? I'm, I'm working towards it. I believe next time I'll be in a better workspace. with Exactly. Better podcast, exactly. Yes. That. But at least I have this in mind. I'm not satisfied with where I am at this moment. So once we take us there, it's not us that we know, but we have known it, we have pruned it, and we have packaged it with excellence. We have gone through the rigor of doing what needs to be done. Because no matter how valuable your content is, if you don't have some basics like camera, lightning, nobody will listen to you YouTube or on, on YouTube. Yeah. Even if they yeah. avoid, they won't even propose what they are doing. So that yeah. excellent factor is needed. And most Africans are failing in that part because we're like, okay, they just get started and all that and they remain where they are. So you, you discover yourself, you prune what you have seen about yourself and um, you stay on it and you now package it with excellence. Why that, that is being done, you're on the move. You, are always, you always have the big picture in mind. And once that happened, even God himself would ensure that the universe aligns and bring all that you have into favor and everything will start being in place. That's why we look at you and say, hey, you will inspire me. Now, to me, before, whenever I, I hear that, I do feel like, wow. But now it's just normal. You know, at times I walk into places and people that I don't even know, just meet me like, hey, I'm your club. I'm like, wow. Like, don't just see me and take with me pictures that I inspire them, that they, that, 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 even though they are ghost members, but they are following all through, you know, it's, it's normal to me that people see me as a source of inspiration. But I didn't just get here. I had to just start even when I was not, I was not sure. I have yeah. to start even when it was looking odd to start. You know, I have to pay deaf ears to critics because this and that are people are to push it. You know, once you are in the midst of people who are uh, mediocre and are trying to make that move by default they will try to pull you down they will try to talk you out of it and funny enough is sadly that this might even come from pastors per se they will be like yeah. hey you are doing too much just wait wait when is your time you know things like this it looks innocent but it's time people down I'm like wait when is your time you don't have to force things out and I'm like what I'm a young man what time am I waiting for if not now <laughs> Right, it comes from their parents. I like just calm down, you know, just wait for, just go to school and all that. Some people, it comes from their friends, and so you have to, to develop the a hard heart to pay yeah. deaf ears to these things and just pursue a course because those people who are trying to stop you now will be the same ones that will say, "Hey, I'm proud of him. I've always known that he'll be great." I'll be like, "Wow!" <laughs> when I tried, but I had them enough in my life. People who try to stop me. And now they are blaming my trumpet everywhere that this guy, I've always known that he'll be great and all that. And I'll be like, what if I've listened to you? I say to my mind, yeah, what if yeah. I listen to your advice? You think I'll be here? So many yeah. have many are victims of people's opinion. Now I always tell people, don't be too loyal to somebody else's opinion at the expense of your destiny. It's oh, very, yeah. it's very vital. Oh, so yeah. They should put their fears to thrift to critics and just push on, and even the sky will be too small to be their limits. Wow. Daniel. Wow. <laughs> yes. Woo! Uh, see, see I, 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 I tell you, I tell you, I'm, I'm happy. See, when I, when I meet young Africans like you, I'm very happy, and uh, I... I've met so many like you as guests of this podcast. 
you see. And uh, I'm certain that uh, Africa will get to where where we all wanted to get to because of mm. people like you. See, I will say this again. Uh, I've said it many, many times on this podcast. Uh, people of my generation filled Africa. Okay. Uh, because uh, we also had opportunities to do the things a young man like you and others, young men and women of Africa in this era are doing. We also had the opportunities, yes. Uh, yes, uh, in our era, we didn't have a social media, okay? Uh, internet, okay? But in our own way, we also had so many opportunities, which we didn't take. Many of us, uh, focus on our personal careers, okay, mm. which in, in a way it's, it was limited because it was always focused on us, on us alone, okay. It mm. wasn't focused on impact of the wider community. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to see people like you. So, Thank you so uh, much, yeah, yeah.